Right, during the week, last week, Nadia and our dear friend Lee headed out to see Cabaret. Cabaret. Starring, Cabaret starring who? Eddie Redmond. And Jesse, Jesse Buckley. Buckley. But she wasn't Hang old. Hang on, Eddie Redmond and Jesse She's, Buckley. I was going to say Jesse Wallace. Jesse Wallace. I was very, very, very disappointed that Jesse Buckley wasn't there. Jesse, if you're watching. I think she might be. I, I, I wonder whether she might not be there because she's so involved with award season, with the lost daughter, mm. that perhaps, you know, she's kind of distracted by Oscars and BAFTAs and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so it was a huge disappointment, wasn't it, for you and Lee that she wasn't in it. It doesn't mean necessarily... Mostly for me, because yeah. Lee was mostly there for Eddie Redmayne, but okay. I really, I, I got the tickets because I wanted to see her. Jessie. Um, Jessie Buckley is an actress who I've been following for quite a few years now. She's brilliant. She's, she's, brilliant. she's been in a, a number of kind of low-budget indies, Really, always really good, really compelling. I, I, I know I always say this, but I love the fact that she was discovered on the Graham Norton sing-along show. Uh, and no. she came second. In Lee it. was telling me that Andrew Lloyd Webber was absolutely furious that she didn't win. Really? Yeah. But I know she hasn't employed her since. Well, I don't know. Yeah, no. I mean, well, if you if you felt that, Andrew, put your money where your mouth is, mate. Um, so this is a new film. This is a film that comes from mine, Maddie's and Kiki's favourite film producing outfit called A24. They're usually kind of a marker or a guarantee of some degree of quality. Um, I seen, I watched the teaser with Maddie it's, it, and it was very curious, but I'm really intrigued to see what you think of it, Mads. It's called Simply Men. Yeah. Let's check it out. <laughs> Mrs. Marlowe, yes? Harper, yes. Do, come in. The words I have to say. It's a beautiful be simple, house. But Would it just be you staying? Or? Excuse me? Mrs. Marlowe? No. Until you give your love, there's nothing more that we can do. Apple from the garden? Y yeah, it was delicious. No, 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 no. Mustn't do that. Forbidden fruit. Oh. God, sorry, I, I, I... I'm joking. I, oh. Oh, it's Magna. Yeah. We're tormented. It feels more like... Haunted. Yeah. Something happened. My husband went upstairs to our balcony. <laughs> I'm so cool. You must wonder why you drove him to it. Why? I didn't drive him to it. I thought it'd be true. But if you had given him the chance to apologize, he'd still be alive. What? A man followed me out of the woods. He was stalking me. What makes you say that? I saw him twice. Twice? I don't know if he saw you once. <laughs> what, play a game? You hide. I'll see. You must feel an awful sense of guilt. Stay away from me. Watching that. Why not? Because it looks horrible. <laughs> it looks petrifying. She looks brilliant. Um, well, no, she might be brilliant, and it's a shame that I can't watch it because I love her, but I'm not watching that. Is it Rory Kinnear as well? Over and over and over and over and over and over again. He's everywhere. I don't like it. I don't think men are nice in this film. I don't like it. Papa Esiedo in there as well, of, as the husband who tragically looks like he's thrown himself up. But yeah, I forgot to say, it's by the director of Ex Machina, which you liked, didn't I loved you? It. it was a brilliant film. And brilliant Annihilation. Film. Yeah, did you watch Annihilation? No. The girl, that's one of the girls' favourite films. They love the soundtrack. He's a really interesting director. He obviously also, interestingly, wrote The Beach, the, film, uh, the book that the film The Beach was based on. 
I can't wait to see that. I think the whole, I can wait an entire lifetime. I think the whole apples thing is the forbidden that's, fruit thing. Oh, well, it's the Garden of Eden. Well, no, no, but I think the Garden of Eden, as soon as she bites the apple, it all starts to go wrong. And it's just called men. Jesus Christ, you think of anything worse. Terrified out of your mind and it's something just called men.